there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out some AliExpress makeup that I recently bought. I'm speaking it fast today because I'm actually filming later on in the afternoon. The boys have all gone out to a Man City match. It's the boys first ever Man City match and they are so excited. Um, but I just thought right, I'll delay filming. This is probably really really boring but I'm going to tell you it anyway. But yeah, I thought I'll film when they've all gone out, but it's quite dark now. I've got my ring light um, and I hope that the lighting is going to be sufficient. Okay, so now on to business, guys, after all of that excessive amount of intro. So today we're going to be trying out three products from AliExpress. The first one is by DNM Beauty and this is a two-in-one volumizing mascara. I've tried a few products by DNM now and I've been really really impressed. The glitter eyeliner I've got I don't think what else I've tried out from them. And I actually can't think of anything else. But, I mean, I've tried one product by them that I really, really like. So, I mean, that's something. Uh, so, she, you know, she's feeling optimistic. Uh, the second product we have was very kindly sent to me by Fock, 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 Fockle Your. Yeah. Okay, so this is called the Chocolate Matte Lipstick. And, yeah, it looks really, really beautiful. So, we're going to be giving it this a go today. And finally, like, I, I don't want to say, like, the star of the show, but... I mean, how could she not be the star of the show? We're going to finally be trying out the MAC Andy eyeshadow palette. So this was actually sent to me by the O2O brand. So I believe that MAC Andy must be like one of their sister or daughter, maybe nephew or niece companies. I just feel like it's quite conceivable that all of these brands on AliExpress could actually be owned by one brand but then again like that's kind of how makeup is because like Estee Lauder they own like Maybelline, L'Oreal don't they own like loads of brands so then you think well maybe it's just one brand actually but I don't know I don't know how it works and I'm not going to pretend I do because I don't but anyway guys so we're going to be trying out the MAC Andy palette okay so we're going to get straight into this so to begin I am going to start with the MAC Andy palette so this is absolutely gorgina this it's a freaking handbag it's a handbag guys and I just have never seen anything quite so sensational the actual glitter and sequins and just the whole look of this palette is exquisite it's so sparkly it's so pretty i think that it feels like good quality like this could quite easily be like super tacky and it could just look like so cheap but it doesn't it looks really expensive just so beautiful i'm definitely gonna be showcasing this I think up on one of my shelves after I've tried the palette honestly do I care if the product inside is even good mm, probably not I mean probably not guys because I just think the whole look of this is a gorgina uh the ins oh my gosh I feel like I've just spent too much time talking about how the palette actually looks when really I should be talking about what's inside the palette it's kind of like you know if you wanted to have a a get new boyfriend and all you're doing like when you're telling your friends about a potential guy is you're saying oh my gosh he's got a six pack he's got great biceps his hair is so beautiful his almond eyes gorgeous his lips oh my gosh I want them all over my you know I feel bad like a very superficial right now but I mean she is beautiful guys and I know you think that too I know you do even honeys thinks this is beautiful and that's honeys and he doesn't really do sparkly, glittery things. Although saying that, he did really enjoy when I did the glitter beard on him. So, okay, so this is very much a warm tone palette. You've got matte, you've got shimmers, marble eye shimmers. You've even got a pressed chunky glitter over here. I went ahead and did the swatches a few days ago now. So I'm going to cut in that footage just so you can check out the swatches and see what you think. Again, I don't really give a shit about the swatches because I'm just all about the aesthetic today. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, bitch, yes.
Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the swatches there. As I said, I did them a few days ago now and I can't really remember how they looked. Also, I did just want to apologise for how bad my lips just looked. They looked like I'd been sucking on a jar of concealer. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, that was just my foundation taking centre stage, trying to ruin my life. Okay, so guys, we are going to try out this palette. I hope you don't mind, but I am going to pop you in fast forward just because we have a few other products to get through. It's getting dark by the second, guys. I feel like I need a number two as well, but do you know what? It's getting dark outside by the second, so that's just going to have to wait right now. So to begin the look, I'm going to go in with this beautiful camel brown. Okay, so I have finished the look. This is it. I like it, but I'm not super happy about it. It's not an extravaganza on my eye. I think the reason why, I, I mean, I was focusing so much on the external packaging because it simply is beautiful. But I actually am not, like, visually, this doesn't really appear to me. This whole narrative here does not really appeal to me. Initially, I just didn't want to be overcritical about the kind of colour story within this palette and it not, not being my own personal preference because it's just that. It's not my personal preference. So I didn't really want to be like super, like, you know, negative Nancy-ish about it. But I don't really like the colour story just visually and I'm not really liking it on my eyes, honestly. And um, my favourite thing about this look is the chunky pressed glitter. There's little uh, stars, little hearts in there. And it actually does a really, really good job of giving your lids, you know, that kind of wet, like shiny, sleek, oily kind of look. So I like that, but that's where it ends. I'm not really a fan of anything else. Although I think that the eyeshadows were pigmented, they blended out nicely. I think that if this whole colour story would really float your boat, then I would recommend it because I think the formula is really, really good, but it's just my personal preference. I don't really like the colour story. I don't find it inspiring. And I don't think I would be reaching for this again other than maybe to pop it up on my shelf, you know, to display it because she's so pretty. This is not for me, but um, I love her externals. I mean, I love the externals. She is one sexy senorita. Do you know what? My eyelids feel like they're burning a bit, but I mean, I've had this before with liquid eyeshadow, so I'm not going to get too worried about it just yet, but they're burning. So if I suddenly keel over and die, just know that I was enjoying my last few moments of life, although not really loving my eye look. 
you know what I mean. Next we're going to try out the lipstick. So this is by Focolio and it's called the Chocolate Matte Lipstick. This is the packaging that it comes in and oh it's in the shade. Ah, could they made the shade name any harder to pronounce? I, I know you can't see it. It's Sash Ert Orty. Sash Ert Orty which is a great word and I am going to google it in a minute because I'm intrigued about what it means. Okay so this is the outer packaging. I think she looks so sleek and I definitely do think that Focolior are the masters at packaging and making it look really high quality and appealing. So yeah this is definitely fitting into Focolior's usual aesthetic I would say. So if we pop the cap off, pop that cap off bitch oh my gosh she is dark she's a vampy lady i mean look at this oh my gosh do you know what for once i think i'm actually going to be trying a lipstick shade that complements my eye look because like that never happens does it guys okay so guys i'm gonna get my existing lip product off so this is one of the lucid lip glosses by Clydes makeup this is the one with little pink glitters in guys guys these lip glosses they are something else they're gorgeous. I know that some people like a sticky lip gloss. This is not a sticky lip gloss. This is a very kind of hydrating, comfortable. Oh, I just love it. It's so good. But anyway, guys, okay, so I'm going to take it off begrudgingly, but not really because I'm looking forward to trying out the Cleo lipstick. I'm just going to kind of pat my lips dry because, well, I'm not sure why, but I just feel like it might be the thing to do right now. Do you know what? I've, I've stand by my decision. I think that was the right thing to do right now. I just do. Okay, so this is the lipstick as you have just seen. <gasps> she looks very matte. Oh my gosh, should I do a lip liner? I probably should, but I'm not going to because I'm terrible at doing a lip liner and it, it's just embarrassing. The whole situation, humiliating guys. Oh my gosh, I've got one of the stars on my lip. Oh, and I'm not hating it. I am not. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love it. I am loving it. You know what? I may actually, you know, for work one day, just like put a, like a star somewhere just about my person. And then I'll just like see if anyone notices the star. And they'll be kind of looking at it thinking, oh, I wonder if anyone knows she's got a star on her upper lip today. Do, do you think she knows, Jeff? Should someone tell her? Or do you think she knows? She probably knows. Let's not tell her. Do you know what I mean? Just to like, I don't know. I don't know why I would do that, guys. But, you know, life in the office can get tedious sometimes. So it could spark a interesting conversation or something. I Probably not. Okay, so guys, let's do this. Oh, do you know what? To begin, I'm going to just swatch her. Oh, sorry, guys. I've got rather knuckly and bony hands. Not knuckly down here, because my knuckles, they reside up here. But I've got very bony hands, so probably not the best place to swatch. Let me swatch here. Oh, my gosh. Yes, bitch. Yes. She's so pigmented. Like, so pigmented. That's going to make my vagina tingle right now. I mean, sh guys, I mean, come on, girlfriend. You know you've... You've swatched a beautiful makeup product and you have just felt alive down below. I know you felt that too. Do you know what I've just thought though? I'm going to have to wipe the swatch off because I just knew it was going to stain my chair. Like it definitely was. The swatch just had that evil look in its eye that was saying, I'm going to stain your fucking chair in a minute. Guys, what do you think I think of this? Not for me, guys. I feel like this video might as well be called Amwin tries products that she thinks the formula is really good on, 
but she just does not like the shade and that's her personal preference just don't like the shade interestingly as well it actually looks a lot less matte on the lips i mean unless it's going to like magically dry down or something but i don't think it is it actually looks like a satin i just don't like the shade guys i just don't like the shade unfortunately i think that it feels like really really comfortable you've got a really strong opaque finish and i'm sure that they would have some other shades that maybe i would like more but i mean if you're a fan of like this um i'm not quite sure how i'd describe it like a brick red if you're kind of a fan of this then i think the formula is good but i might as well just at this point get myself a t-shirt made that says it's just not my personal preference I mean, really, guys. Okay, so to finish off the video, we're going to be trying out the DNM mascara. So this is called the BT 4D 2-in-1 Mascara. Oh my gosh, she is a large lady. I've not seen her before. This is the first time we are meeting. And I am agreeable to the size. On one side, it says a jumbo. And on the other side, it says skinny. So, like, that actually doesn't help me, like, at all. On the box, it says, Flexible brush with dual effect. Silk grafting. Soft and sticky. I don't know if I want my mascara to be sticky. And soft usually isn't a word that is used to describe a mascara. So, I'm a bit worried already. Like, honestly, guys. It's a durable fixing makeup waterproof and not fanning out not fanning out guys well that's just what i've been searching for in my mascaras I, I need one that does not fan out because i need it here with me on my eyelashes i'm fanning over here and fanning over there no fanning for me thanks one of the brushes is for fiber length curling volume fine soft so like that covered everything like basically everything so what could the second one possibly be for because we've already covered it all with the first one it says brush for cream instant stretching fastening lashes improve polishing showing distinct extremely beautiful natural curling it is use eyelash clip to raise eyelashes to form a certain radian eyelash clip do i have an eyelash clip what the hell is an eyelash clip? Have you ever heard of that? I don't know if I want to be playing around with eyelash clips, honestly, because that just sounds like it wouldn't be a good idea, you know, like an eyelash clip. Is there one in the box? Like, have they blessed me with one of these forsaken eyelash clips? I mean, I can't see one. So, I don't think there is an eyelash clip in this. It built me up, it got me terrified, and just when I was open-minded about trying it, they reveal to me that they have not included an eyelash clip so that's very disappointing and i still at this point do not know which brush i'm using so we're just going to have to skip step one because we don't have an eyelash clip but it says for step two take out the mascara and brush it from the bottom of the eyelash to the top this is like teaching your grandma to suck eggs like i know all of this i've applied mascara countless times in my life although i've not used a double-ended mascara probably like for a long time i don't know how long but it's been a while guys i don't know i'm really bored of reading these <laughs> these uh, instructions i'm so bored of reading them like i've kind of made it my mission in life to never read instructions like i don't want to read instructions i don't care how you're meant to do something i just want want to be left to my own devices i want to make my own scripts i want to just play around until i somehow manage to get something right or just feck it up and then I'll just blame the product. You know, I know if I'm reviewing this, I should read the directions. Ugh, just give me a minute, guys. I just don't have the attention span for reading this right now, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, did I mention as well that all the boys are out tonight, which is like such a rare thing for me to be in the house by myself at night time. That never happens. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself probably just sit on the sofa and uh, scroll on Instagram and eat some crackers and cheese but uh, that sounds like a good time to me so oh, I've still not read these directions oh, uh, right I'm going to focus now I'm going to focus and read the directions 
Push mask, I know what it is. I know what the feck I'm doing. I know what's going on here, guys. So I've read the instructions like I really, really did. I still don't know which end I use first. Oh, actually, I suppose I could just check for fibres. Oh, yeah, it's pretty obvious. It doesn't take Detective Cluedo to solve that one out, does it? So there it, there it is. There are the fibres. So that's step three. Because remember, we missed step one because I do not have an eyelash clip. And then we have the thin side which is the side that I'm going to be using now. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do the mascara first with the cream and then we're going to go in with the fibres and then go back in with more cream. So it's quite a lengthy, arduous process, guys. Okay, so here we go. Like, we are underway. Oh, I've got a little star. Can you see? I've got a star on my eyelash. I cannot say I'm not not hating it i love it just put stars everywhere like apart from that girl do you remember that girl that got drunk i think she was lived in like germany or somewhere she got really drunk like she must have got absolutely wasted and she uh, got tattoos like all over her face oh my gosh could you imagine the hangover the next day like you're waking up you're just thinking oh, where's my phone where's my bag where's my bra you're looking around thinking how you could have made a fool of yourself last night and then you're thinking oh no do you know what i don't think i did i've got my phone i've got my bag i've even got my bra and then you look up into the mirror and you see what you have become the star girl and then you're in all the national papers and it's just a whole shit show <sighs> That, that would be a rather bad day, wouldn't it? A bad day after the night before where you got covered in stars. Okay, so anyway, we put the mascara cream on, which I did not like. I did not like it, guys. Um, It was just very crap. Like, for lack of a better word, I just was not impressed with it. So now we're going in with the fibres and by golly gosh, gum drops. There's a lot of fibres. They're flying about everywhere, looking like the worst dandruff ever ever anyway i've applied the fibers and honestly i kind of like this look this fluffy brow like a baby swan you know when, when their feathers are all fluffy i'm kind of loving it it's like a lash extravaganza right now we're going to carry on with the steps and next we're going to go back in with the cream oh that's not the right one we're, that that's not the right one okay back in with the cream and this should hopefully catch and imprison some of those fibres to create huge lashes, I hope. Like huge, huge feck off lashes. I know that a lot of people don't really like these mascaras that have loose fibres in because I know they can irritate eyes quite a lot. And honestly, like, you know, I've got the Essence Lash Princess and that mascara, in my opinion, is the best in the world. And I don't have to feck around with all these steps and fibres, you know. Here we go. I'm going to just apply a little bit more of the actual mascara. No, I'm not. I'm kind of done with it now, honestly, guys. So this is it. I think it looks really, really good, although because it does have loose fibres, um, my lashes do look like up close. I don't know if you can see, but they look a little bit strange. Do you know what I mean? Because there's lots of little fibres in there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other eye and then uh, we can kind of weigh it up like properly with both eyes done, you know. Let's do this properly or not at all, guys. If only I had that same sentiment during university. Do you know what? When I was at uni, I had four lectures a week. Each of them were an hour. So that's four hours a week of just like, that's all I had to do. Oh, apart from when I worked in the lap dancing club in the evening. But like during the day, just four hours. And I'd still missed like the whole week so many times. But hey, at least I didn't wake up one day with stars all over my face. Okay, so I've applied the mascara onto both of my top lashes and both my bottom lashes. Mm, it, 
I don't like it guys. Um, I just didn't like the whole faffing around, like, multi-step process. I didn't like the fibres. I have a feeling they are going to irritate my eyes for probably the next month. I didn't like the mascara. I did actually I have one positive. I kind of like it on the lower lashes. Probably give it like a six out of ten, but Oh, I don't really like it guys. I've also just remembered that I have not highlighted today so I am going to take the liberty of doing that right now. I'm going to use one of my very favourite highlighters ever which is by Focalio. Um, I think this will hopefully go with the look really beautifully. So this is in the shade Nova Light and it's a beautiful icy peach. Oh why am I putting home with a massive brush? Mm. I mean, why not? I mean, let's do it, gosh. Gosh darn it. Let's treat this like it's a blush. I mean, we could just treat it like it's a, a foundation and pop it all over our faces. Do you know what I mean? Oh yes, bitch, yes. There she goes. Oh my gosh, I've never really used these highlighters as blushes before, but I definitely think that it's passable. Like, what do you think, guys? Hmm. Okay, so guys, I'm not really enjoying this lip product. I think it's so comfortable and I think it's actually a really good, good formula, but I don't like the shade and it's making me want to throw up in my makeup drawer right now. Like it's not. I'm being obviously like over dramatic, but I'm going to take her off because I want to put another lip product on. I hope you don't mind. Even if you do, it, I'm sorry, it's happening. Okay, so I'm back. I ended up going in with a metallic lip. So this is by Javaya's Place and it's in the shade Candice. Candice. This is absolutely gorgeous and I don't, I don't use it enough. So I just thought today, let's pop it on. Okay, so guys, I, I feel like this has not been the video that has featured all of the successful products if not like any. So although I think the eyeshadow palette, she looks so gorgeous from outside. She's kind of like fancy knickers. What's that phrase? All lace knickers but no socks. I can't think of the phrase. She's all frilly knickers and what is that phrase guys? I can't remember it. She's mutton dressed as lamb. I don't know guys but anyway so with this yeah it looks so gorgeous from outside it's full of so much promise but I just did not like the colour story. Personal preference guys if you like this colour story I think that you would enjoy the formula of the eyeshadows because they're actually really really good and I, I really love do you know what this is kind of I think unfair to actually say that all of the products in this video was unsuccessful and to kind of lump this palette into the, that because actually I do really think the formula is good so I don't want to be too biased just because like oh it's, it's not my personal preference I, I wouldn't really pick these shades it's not they're not cool toned they're just not for me like I don't want to be too biased so actually this palette is really really good if I step outside of me and I just like look at this for what it is, which is what I should always do anyway. I'm just having some kind of metaphysical nightmare at this point, guys. I do apologise that you're along for the ride. But um, yeah, no, I think the palette's fine. And this chunky kind of glittery part, I love. I, it actually feels really comfortable on my lid. At first I was thinking, oh no, it's going to be like really sticky and oily and how you'd imagine it would feel if you put like a Vaseline on your lips but it's really not that problematic at all, like I can barely feel it so yeah, I don't think the palette's bad, I'd recommend if you like the colour story or if you would want to like display the handbag palette but um, for me, I don't love her, I don't, I don't love her but I can appreciate her so I'm going to pop her there for now Oh my gosh, she looks great. Yes, bitch, yes. Again, like, actually, the, the same as, like, everything I just said goes for the lipstick. Not my personal colour preference, but I think the formula is really, really good. I did check uh, how much these are selling for. These cost £3.16 on the Focal Your Official Store on AliExpress, and I actually think that that is a really fair and reasonable price. I was expecting this to be more. I was thinking maybe more around the £7 mark, 
because A, it's fuck all your, B, fuck all your have been increasing their prices and C, their lipsticks are usually a little bit more expensive and because this one does feel so luxurious, I thought it was going to be more expensive but I think £3.16 is a really good price and I am actually going to look and see if they've got any other shades that I feel would appeal to me because I would definitely buy one based on this formula but not this shade if I've not made that clear enough. The mascara was a definite fail, like a definite fail. I didn't like the actual mascara, I didn't don't like the fibres, don't like the hard work it takes to create a mediocre at best eyelash look with this. So I just don't like it guys. I do not recommend the DNM Grafting Thick Slim. What what does that even mean? Grafting Thick Slim? That sounds like either the name of a porn film with like a wood a wood chopper guy. I just think, yeah, Grafting Thick Slim. He's a wood chocker chock, chopper thing and it, there's a porn. I don't know, but I, no, I don't like this. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really, really sorry that like I'm just not more excited about this whole look because it's just it's not it's not me I don't love it I'm not excited about it um not really no it's it's a no for me guys but I really really appreciate you watching the video thank you so much to Fockley or for sending me the lipstick thank you to oh too old for sending me the eyeshadow palette like i really really appreciate it and um yeah i'm gonna go but have a great rest of the day guys i am now off to jump in the shower and then i'm going to party i'm gonna have a house party because i'm in the house by myself if i didn't mention that before i just don't know what to do with myself i honestly do not know what i'm gonna do with myself but snacking will definitely be a part of it honestly so anyway guys i'm gonna go bye Oh my gosh guys, so I was just sat here and I was kind of weighing up where I could display the most beautiful eyeshadow palette in the world um, but just not my personal preference inside and I just thought I'm going to pop her there, there. What do you think guys? Would that be great? I don't know, also this wall like it's kind of hollow so oh my gosh this might not go well. I do have a nail. Um, but I don't have a hammer. I've got a paintbrush and I just thought this could work. I don't know. Guys, please give me moral support through this, guys, because I am going to need it. Look, honeys will come back. The whole wall will just be crumbled down and I'll just be stood there with, like, my palette and honeys will be like, oh, I just trumped. Sorry, guys. But honeys will be like, honeys, we left you alone for five minutes and this is what happens. I mean, really. Anyway, oh, that Trump stinks, guys, honestly. Okay, let's do this bitch. So where do I want it? Like here? Okay guys, we are ready. Oh, guys, ah, I've got cramp in my hand. Oh my gosh, I could never be a builder, never. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Guys, this, this is not going well, guys. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go find a hammer from somewhere. Like, wish me luck. Oh, my gosh, guys. So, I cannot find a hammer anywhere, but I did find a snack. So, I mean, that's something, isn't it, guys? So, I have no idea where my hammer is. I, I was just racking my brain thinking, what was the last thing that we hammered in? But I just can't remember. So, I may have to put this up a different time, unfortunately. I'm so sorry you didn't get to witness it. I'm sure nobody's still watching even, but anyway, she's gonna be going here. I think she's going to look absolutely beautiful. And I'm sorry, Palette. I know that you were designed and created for other purposes other than being a decorative piece on a wall, but you're just not my personal preference, guys. I mean, really, guys. Anyway, I am gonna finish my sack somehow put this up on the wall. I have no idea how, um, but I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, hopefully with this on the wall. But you never know, maybe I just won't have a wall anymore. Like, who knows?